Hello. I'm demonstrating here the Viatic Tech BX project software and in this case uh, the part material management. We've seen um, in the two former demos the planning overview and how to add or change projects. Um, now we have them, we can start working on it. So what I do here, go to my main menu and open my project master data. Now I will pick up my Madrid project and I go to my material tab. And I can look at it two ways. Either way I can look per activity and there I see per activity what I need. Or I can use the bill of material view where I see everything for the project I need and also for what activity, depending on the amount of material lines. Now what we saw here, we have a make item, so this bicycle has a bill of material, we have two buying items, uh, we can add, we can change, we can do whatever we need. Um, important is that in, you could say in work preparation, um, someone is checking if this is okay, if the quantity is correct, supplier, prices, everything, and if so, you can check these boxes. Now if, is a, if a box is not checked, the system doesn't recognize it as material you need. So you can also use um, uh, dummy items if you say, okay, I know I need a specific motor and it will be about $10,000, uh, but I have no idea at this moment what motor it is. You just put in a dummy for that amount of money and later on, if you know exactly what motor, you put that in and check the box so you need it. So it's very convenient and very easy to use. I will check my boxes uh, uh, all three and do my update. And now I have a need of material. Now I can go working on this two ways. Either I can do this over all the projects. So if I go here to my material recommendation and I select um, everything, I can select more projects if I want to, which means I can um, uh, optimize. So I could say I, I see uh, that a couple of projects are a little bit in the same time frame, so I put them together and see if I have the same items or things from the same supplier, so I can optimize my purchasing or my, my um, production. Um, and if the goods come in, the system knows exactly uh, what amount is there for what project. So that's one of the things you could do. Or you could do this, and in the demo here I will do that, start, start point um, the project and then it shows only what you need for this project. I make this a little bit smaller. Uh, now here we see for our project Madrid the, um, the things uh, we have to, uh, to order or to, uh, to produce. Now what we see here is that we have nothing on stock and we have a need. So what I could do is, and this is especially handy if you have a lot of material lines, I could say I select all and do an automatic dispatch. Now what's happening is that the system says, okay, if I have some stock for a certain item, I put it under this tab. If I have no stock and I need like here, I put it here and uh, you have to buy it. And if I have a make item, just like here, I have to produce them. Now, pretty straightforward. How does it work? First of all, I select the lines I want to order. I go here and press make purchase orders and here I have two suppliers and the system says, okay, these two are the purchase orders. I also know my uh, uh, the start dates of my uh, uh, activity. So the system knows exactly when do I need my material. Now, I just say create my orders and you see here the two order numbers created. It's that simple. With my production order is exactly the same. I just select my production order, press the button, system says okay this is uh, what I'm going to do. I say create orders, there's my production order. That easy. So it's a very very powerful tool you can combine, um, you can uh, see whether it's uh, the same item in different uh, projects, the same supplier in different projects, you can combine those. Um, 
and it's a very powerful way to uh, to order or start producing your material. Now since I've done this I'm ready here and I can reload this and what do I see? Here I see my quantity and here I see that I ordered 8, 20 and 2. So I directly have an overview here of what's happening. If I go to my plan board, we saw that in the other demonstration as, as well, I see here a yellow triangle and on my other activity I see this yellow triangle as well. Now this says I have um, ordered the material. So if I go there and I show me my order, the system shows me exactly my purchase orders. Now this is very powerful as well because it's not only from here in the back office but your, your project manager can have a graphical overview as well of everything which is already purchased and he can see whether it's open. If he wants he can go directly to his purchase order and go under the project tab and sees that this is still open so nothing came in yet but as you can see here very powerful as well and you see every step you do in your graphical overview as well now what can we do i go to the orders as well and i go to my um, purchase order and i just open one and here i can see in this purchase order that i um, uh, still need to uh, to get eight in. I can copy those, of course. This one is this checkbox is an important one. As I have it now, it's a general setting. Um, the system will directly put if I get a good receivable, put the goods onto the project and on work in progress. If this one is up, um, not checked, then we have um, a separate warehouse where the goods come in from that for that project and it's a reservation but it's not on the good uh, sorry on the work in progress account now so I make uh, let's say we get the invoice this is what comes in I just add it and the system adds it I cancel those this is in and if I re reload it I can see here in this example the quantity uh, I needed this 8 and now I already used 8. These are only in order, these are used. How can you see that? If you go to your budget tab, you see on the material side actual costs of your material. So here again, every step you do on the material side, um, you see the, the financial consequences and uh, you can follow exactly what's happening. Now on the reporting side we have a lot of overviews um, project by project we have it over projects we have a complete material management overview um, but important is that you can see every step you do in your system that's it very simple and powerful uh, material management um, the next one will be about time thank you